Yeah, so the last last video we did was of the 58 getting its wash for the first time since we brought it over from, from Texas where it hadn't been cleaned in sort of about 45 years. We'd been sat in a field for that long, so it could have been longer. But yeah, we just thought now it's been washed, well, quickly washed and then just it's come out dry. So we got back outside and thought we'd give it a walk around so you can see the state it's in and the patina that's left really. After all the years of grind that was sat on top of it, it came out stunning really. Shame there wasn't a bit more blue with the original blue. You can just see where the sun has just burnt straight through the blue, especially on the wings there. Look, obviously, which way it was, must have been facing, I'm guessing, but where the blue's sort of been protected by the, the sun. And the front's pretty much been stripped, most of it, really. This came out, came out really nice. Back end seems to have the best colour, I think, personally, but it's quite a mixture of the blue there, especially when it's been finished. Once we finish the body or the underside of it and put the body back on, I think we're going to get down the lines of buffing it up and then just waxing it from what I've done, speaking to a few different people with the different ideas of clear coating and whatnot. I mean, if anyone's got any comments on what they think, what they've done in the past, just put them down in the comments underneath, uh, just by the description. It'd be good to see what you think, how the beetle should be finished, really. But, but considering, again, it's been sat so long, I'm really impressed with the condition it's in. You can see from the inside, there's not a lot left. So the floors are both shot both sides at the rear and they're well, probably full pans anyway, but certainly the rear half pans where it was down, I think it was sat down onto its pan in the floor, the wheels were sunk into the ground. So I'm guessing that's what's done most of the damage on the floor. But just look. Give you an idea of the original blue and the door cards. I think it's this one, but yeah, the, the blue there is it's almost amazing, really. I'm going to give it another clean now before we do anything with it. A bit more. But no, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy. I'm really happy with it. To be fair, it's it's a stunning car. Like so we're going to give it a bit more of a clean. I'll just show you underneath the bonnet. In fact, if you look underneath the wheels again, the stone chip protection was coming off when we jet washed it, and you can see in some places it looks absolutely brilliant, which is great, really. Again, in down in the, both left and right corners, it was full of mud, twigs, nesting, I guess, from animals. As I dare, dare say, over the years, how many animals have been here? We haven't found any, any dead ones. Certainly, no live ones. So, it was a good sign. But, but yeah, the only hole as expected again in a spare wheel well where it's been sat all the way along the bottom there is cracked and rusted away which is pretty standard but again under the conditions I'm absolutely chuffed with it really I expected a lot worse again wing where they sit on one side got a bit of a fold in there again this wing I don't know if you can see this size not as much light but there you go the collar underneath it is great too bad at all. Interesting to get the wings off and see if we can see exactly the extent of the original colour. But again if you look all around the doors
the uh, it's it's brilliant really again something clearly been living in this door over the years but as projects go I've seen a hell of a lot worse so here again if you want to get involved in the comments section let us know what you do where would you start we kind of know what we're doing we know where we're going to go with it but I'd be dead keen to see what other people think or where to go next we're thinking probably just strip panels off and get the body off uh, and just concentrate on the pan really which we'll be doing a full we're documenting it all and with the build on it all so yeah please let's just move these seats forward again even the luggage area from when I was sandblasting you used to see so many bad cars and this just hasn't been touched I mean the sound deadening hopefully has done its job but looking at it I'm hoping it's going to be stunning underneath that yeah there she is again if you want to follow us for more subscribe to our channel and like all the videos and comments and interact with us and join the community and see I mean help us along the way as well some of the different areas we've not done before it'd be great to get other people's comments and input and see how we go so yeah see everybody soon cheers